Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So this is going to be a short video. We're going to talk about how to defeat Terax in uncollected mode. Now, fortunately, you don't need any specific champion, but Namor is probably the best, and if not the best, one of the best counters for Terax. You can defeat Terax uncollected with even a three-star Namor. He needs to have Max Sig, but Namor can do it. Otherwise, hopefully this will help you guys out a little bit. So a few things to note about Terax. Now, I have him as part of the content creator program. The embargo has not lifted yet. So I can talk to you only about the abilities that are already known. And since we're facing him in Uncollected, you already know his abilities. You can pull him up. One of the new features, you can also take a look at all of his abilities. So I'm assuming it's okay to talk about it. Now, he has this rock field. Nine times out of 10, that's what's gonna wreck you. In the beginning, it's gonna be active. And what you wanna do is back off. Now, notice that his power, his power bars are gonna be grayed out. He cannot fire off specials during this time and the power bars are going to slowly go down to zero. When they reach zero, he his uh, rock field is gonna go away. So what you wanna do is let that go away. Once it's gone, now attack him and be as aggressive as you can be. You're gonna have to deal with uh, limber, and a couple of other nodes uh, that hopefully you're aware of already, but he's pretty straightforward. Nothing uh, in the nodes are very difficult to play around, all right? So you wanna be aggressive. If you're not aggressive, one of the nodes will give him a power gain if you're too far away from him. And when you're close to him, you get a weakness debuff. Real nice, but you'd rather be close to him, okay? Now, there's a couple of reasons why you don't want to attack him while he has his rock field active. And it's not just because it's gonna be tearing you up, but he's gonna get indestructible charges. And you really don't want that. Also, you're gonna extend the duration of his rock field. So if you're thinking to just rush in there and get him down quickly, don't. Just be patient. Because what's gonna happen is as you're hitting him, the power, his power meter is gonna keep going up because you're hitting him, he's gaining power. And because he's gaining power, that's gonna mean a longer time before it will go down to zero. So when his rock field is up, just back off, parry him if you need to, uh, hit into his block, but I would avoid the rock field completely. Don't get caught in the corner, but he's pretty straightforward. Now, we're going to end the video with a fight. It is with my Corvus, but as I said, you can beat him with a variety of champions. And don't worry if you can't get a one-shot. Go in if you can get him down using three or four champions, that's fine. Uh, if you watched my uh, stream when I was doing it initially, I got wrecked with several champions before I got him down. So don't worry about it. He is a little bit challenging, but he's not that bad. All right, so thank you for watching. Hopefully you will enjoy this video. Hopefully this will help you out when you do your initial clear of Terax, or if you're doing exploration as well. Leave a comment and let me know how you did, and if you have any other tips or tricks that can help someone else, definitely leave that in the comments. If you know of a different counter, uh, right now I'm thinking Namor is the number one counter, but you don't need any specific champion to take this guy down, all right? So here's some gameplay, take care, and you all have a blessed day.
Cause I know 